take this one and wrap it out. So my name is Paul Krusich. I'm from Stockholm University. I'm a dendrochronologist, and I've been asked to come and uh, sample these um, pieces of wood from the World Trade Center boat. My specialty is dendrochronology, um, using tree rings to study past climates. Uh, as an avocation, as a hobby, um, I also use the same methods to date constructions built from wood. Have you worked on similar um, remains of shipwrecks? Not of shipwrecks. This is a first for the shipwreck. But I've worked a lot in New England on first period and second period colonial buildings, and in New York on dating artifacts of wood that have been um, dug up at sites similar to this. Water is a very good preservative. Um, environments without oxygen are great for preserving, particularly wood. Um, what is often um, a, a problem is the frag fragility, the fragileness of the material. And if they are small pieces, they usually will crumble. But large pieces such as these stay very well preserved. When we were excavating the site, um, we took apart the ship piece by piece, and every single timber is referenced to its location on the ship, so that when we carry out any analysis, whether it be dendrochronology or other sampling methods, we're able to determine exactly what part of the ship is from. And should anyone in the future decide to go about any kind of reconstruction effort, they would have an exact location for where each individual timber is located for that purpose. What I've what I've concluded so far is that it's an oak species, and the family of oak, which is good for us because we have many long oak chronologies, and that the wood is in reasonably good condition, um, sufficient enough to get fine measurements from in order to date against reference chronologies from the eastern United States and Europe. Hope, we hope that we will be able to at least identify the period in which the um, boat was built, and if we're lucky, even the location from which, the region from which the wood came from to build the boat.